Hey everybody, and welcome to Appliance Buyer's Guide. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Ember uh, temperature controlled travel mug. Um, it is a new product come to market. Um, they released uh, earlier, uh, oh, I'm sorry, middle of last year through all Starbucks throughout the country right before the fall. The first thing that they, uh, they released was a little white ceramic mug. It was very small, had to stay near its charging port, which was um, which was interesting. So I didn't, you know, I didn't really grab that one at first and it really didn't interest me. I was looking, uh, but I thought the concept was really, really cool. So um, not long after they released this, which is the Ember um, temperature controlled travel mug. So this is great. You put it on a, a coaster charging port like this to charge it up, but then it's got a specific battery life. If I press the button here, you'll see it's got a specific battery life and will hold the temperature at whatever uh, setting that you put it at um, for a period of time. Very interesting. It's marketed as basically, you know, uh, have your specific coffee or your specific tea at just the right temperature um, throughout the drink, which is really cool. And, it, and it, one thing that this, that this uh, cup does really, really well is that it will hold the drink at the temperature. Um, but there are a couple issues with it, like anything else. Um, so I've been testing this, this unit now for two weeks and, uh, you know, I purchased it on Amazon, $150 is what it's running right now on Amazon. And um, when, when I got it, it's packaged beautifully. It looks like it was designed by Apple. The actual um, way that it functions is extremely elegant. Um, to actually activate the unit, you just touch the icon there and you see the menu lights up. Your controls are actually from a, uh, a bottom, you know, your, the bottom of this unit actually uh, moves and that's how you manipulate your, your temperature control and your menu items. It does sync with a iPhone app, so there is a specific app on my iPhone. I'll pull my iPhone over here and just show you. The app looks like this, and it really just shows you, hey, this is what temperature your coffee's at. I can adjust it, I can kick it up a notch or down a notch, and it will set it with the coffee cup, but that's really it. A Couple of issues that I found with it and the reasons why we gave it the review that we get, did on our website is Twofold. Um, one is it doesn't hold a lot of liquid. It holds it holds 12 fluid ounces total, but then because of the top, it also that kind of takes into some of your you know some of your actual um, liquid space. So I found just the interior of this it, it does not hold a lot of liquid. It would definitely not hold a grande or above from Starbucks or for any normal coffee um, shop that you'll go to. Um, it will only hold a tall if that. A um, couple things, you know, another thing about it that's a little bit annoying is the battery life on it is a lot shorter than I was anticipating. You would think, you know, 150 bucks, you would think this thing should, you know, hold temperature and be able to hold it for at least a good portion of a work day. It doesn't even hold anywhere remotely close to that. So they say on their website that it will hold a drink for two hours, I believe, is their... Um, what they're marketing and they don't really advertise that. I didn't know it when I, when I bought it, that that's all, all it held. I probably wouldn't even have bought it at that point if I saw that it was only two hours. In my testing, I don't even manage to get two hours out of it. I was lucky to get about an hour and a half. If I put something in here that was, was you know, extremely um, uh, hot and it would last kind of a long period of time because it would take time for it to dip down to temp and then it would just hold it there. But if I put something in here that was like right on the temp already, so this usually like for tea, you would set it at like 130, 128. If I put something in there that was 130, 128, then it would immediately start to drop and then this, this thing would immediately have to kick on whatever heating elements it has in there to kind of hold it at temp. And I would notice my battery would be, this thing would be pinging me from my phone telling me, hey, you've got no battery after about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. I mean, that's not very long at all and really too, you know, it, it gets a little too cumbersome at that point to then say, okay, well, I drank most of this drink and it worked and now it's got to go back on the charger for a couple hours so it can charge back up before I can even use it again. It's too tedious of a process. Um, some of that reason probably is they wanted to package it in this beautiful thing with this beautiful control. So they probably have, a, you know, their lithium ion pack in here and then their heating element in here, which left them very little room for any kind of actual insulation. So one thing you'll notice is when the battery goes out on this ember, the temperature drops like a stone. It drops really, really quickly. Whereas like on your a normal thermos type, um, you know, travel mug, it's going to hold temp for at least an hour or two hours before you're really going to notice the temperature has dropped 10 degrees. On this, within literally five to 10 minutes, your drink has gone way down from where it was and getting bordering on cold. Some things that are really awesome about it, it's top 
is really, really cool. It works really well. This is actually full of hot tea right now. It works really well. It seals really well. Um, Thermos is the other you know, brand that I use for this. The Thermos will hold my drinks for five, six hours without any problems, keeping it hot. It's not obviously just a double walled stainless steel tumbler, but its top is not as good and not as revolutionarily designed as this one. So this one's got a, a little thing in the top. You push it. It, you can drink out of any side. There's no specific place, front or back, left or right. It's, it's completely all-encompassing. And it just works. There's no spillage. There's no nothing. Sip out of the so way. as far as user experience goes, the Ember hits all the marks. The Ember is an awesome piece. Um, where it fails is at $150, it's just too tedious of a product right now. I feel like almost like it's it's not half-baked. It's like they just they didn't wait for the technology yet to catch up for, to where this was going to be viable solution for someone like me or other people out there who are using a travel mug throughout the day, you really can't, it's just too tedious for someone like us to do it. Right now, the Ember for me is a pass. Um, just didn't do it for me. I think at $150, we really need to see more um, out of a you know smart cup, if you will. I mean, we're, but it's a good concept. I think that their next generation, if they're able to shrink some of this stuff down and kind of rethink a couple things and make sure this thing insulates enough so that when it does lose power, it can still hold the heat really well. I think they've, I think they're onto something here, but for right now, for me, um, this is a pass at $150. So, um, that's our, uh, our quick breakdown on the Ember. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube video. If you'd like to see more appliance reviews and ratings, please click on the link below to subscribe to our channel or visit our website at appliancebuyersguide.com.